Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of April 11th through April 18th for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days, check a different part of your chart, or even look around on Mondays because the format is different every week on Monday. So there's a love reading, there's a pick a card reading, monthly readings, all kinds of stuff going on on Mondays. And thanks to everybody for subscribing, hitting that like button. I always appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you join us and become a subscriber. So let's begin and get the messages for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please? Messages to you for Taurus, please. Okay. All right, so we will begin here with the tarot and then we'll um, have the angels weigh in from the angel answers. So you begin here with the Queen of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Interesting. You've got the Six of Wands, the Three of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and interesting energy here and strength. Well, if you're waiting on something like some kind of a reconciliation, it is here. Um, but you're moving forward with things either way. You've got air here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got Leo here too. You've got fire in general, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you do have Earth, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So you're getting clarity, and I feel like you've got kind of a no-nonsense energy here. This is kind of a take no prisoners. You speak your mind and you're not afraid to do it. But honestly, I feel like people are listening to you. Um, it, she can be a little harsh. I mean, I don't want to discount that. But the Queen of Swords also can be about not taking yourself too seriously. Um, she's got a bit of a quick wit. So you may find, especially if you tend to be sarcastic anyway, people around you think you're on fire. I think you're going to be in one of these places where there's some people that absolutely love it and they think you are hysterical. And there's other people, if they're on the receiving end, that might feel a bit sheepish. But again, I don't think that you're going to dole that sarcasm or caustic energy out to somebody who hasn't hasn't really asked for it, okay? I do feel like you may have somebody here who's a bit stubborn at times, um, maybe at work, or they just do things that kind of go against the grain and it's like, God, if they weren't here, this would be so much easier. I hate to say that, but I don't mean it like death. I mean it like if they didn't work there, okay? But either way, with the Queen of Swords, You've got a um, an ability or a facility for communication when you're in this energy. You may even have somebody ask you to proofread something for them. I do see that. I see something. It's like pages of writing. I don't know if it's a paper or it's a, a contract or something like that though, where they want you to look things over because it really does stand out here. So with the Four of Cups, some of you might be getting bored if you're waiting for a reconciliation um, you may feel like, too, if it's a reconciliation that they need to bring their best stuff. For others of you, though, it also is a card of just being in nature, meditating. If you feel like things have gotten a little bit stagnant in a relationship, get yourself out of that energy because the problems are not with you and the other person. They're with you and you and them and them. We come out of alignment, and when we do that, the smallest stuff starts to bug the crap out of you. It's like oh my God, I'm ready, you know, God, you're home. You know, that kind of thing. Very good indication you're coming out of alignment with source energy because source doesn't see it that way. Source loves everything. When two souls are connected, the soul loves the other soul, period. Okay, so in a relationship, if it's starting to get a bit stagnant, get yourself somewhere where you can balance your own energy and they'll probably start to look a lot different to you, more like when you met them. Now, sometimes we do get into matches that are from low vibrational places, right? We're both there, we match up, and it doesn't last. But I do feel like with this, you do have joy, you have fun coming forward. And so it feels like it's like just a little bit of caught off in the weeds up here. But I do feel like it, it, the energy down here improves, so I like that. You've got the Six of Swords. It's moving forward again in a career. You've got great communication skills if you're looking for a job. You'll do well in an interview. You'll be able to articulate yourself easily, succinctly, and in a way, too, that brings in some humor. Even though swords are not really 
known necessarily for humor as much as thinking. It's communication. So I do feel like that is an extra gift that, you know, it kind of softens the energy because too much direct communication can scare people. This can be a card of travel too. I don't see a lot of other elements for travel, but I do see financial security here. So this may be, for someone here, may be an indicator of travel. So the Five of Cups, you got a change coming. And I like it after that Four of Cups because the Four is kind of pouty and bored. The Five gets to the point where you hit bottom with your own energy. Sometimes you can get sick of yourself, right? And you say, okay, I need to look at this differently. This situation, I need to look at it from a different point of view because I'm so focused on the negative stuff, it's just making it worse. So some of you are going to be able to turn yourself around and see the cups that are upright and not looking at whatever you don't like. Because the more you look at something you don't like, you're going to get more situations like it. You're going to get frustration and aggravation and feelings of, you know, dismissal. Um, but with this, so it's hard in this reading to say anybody's going to dismiss you, Taurus. I do feel like you've got a powerful energetic field. So this may be very minor. Sometimes these sh things show up and it's like really representing a transitory energy. It doesn't mean you've got this black cloud around you. They're just telling you, be focused on the good things around you because there's also a solution. He could cross that bridge and go home. Instead, he chooses to sit and stare at the carnage. So with the six of wands and be careful with your this just came in. Be careful with your social media and television diet, okay? Be intentional with that. When I said stare at the carnage, right after that, I started seeing things like be, be aware if you're watching stuff that creeps you out on Netflix, don't watch it because it, it will hang around in your vibration. If you like that kind of stuff, then do it. But if you don't, don't. The Six of Wands is a card of success. There's a victory here. It's success. It's moving forward. Somebody here, it's very much work-related if you are looking for a job or you're in a place where you're just like in flow at work. It's very obvious. It's very noticed and, and people around you see it too. So with this though, I mentioned before, you've got love here too. And so with the Three of Cups, it can be reconciliation. Strength can also be about repressed feelings. So if somebody out there is in a a breakup, they still have feelings for you. Don't let them fool you. And sometimes it's good just to do other stuff. You know, let, let yourself be in this glorious place and they'll come back. They always do. For those of you, though, it's new people it's attracting someone new. The Three of Cups is celebration. It's going out. It's being in, in a fun place. And this is the, the attention that you get. It's getting a lot of attention, but it's feeling confident. It's feeling like you are going to attract love if that's what you want. You know how to do that. You're in that energy field of love and it has to manifest. So, and from a high place, because Six of Wands is more in that higher vibrational realm. So the Three of Cups, I mentioned, it's coming together. It can be reunion, but it's fun. It's celebratory. You know, it's um, it's it's like something that everyone wants, right? It's It's a beginning, a new beginning. It's embarking on a new endeavor for some of you. If it's a work-related thing, there may be a change at work and it brings you guys into a place where you feel like going out and getting a drink after work. Um, it's, you know, like they, these ladies dance, but they're also very aware of their cups. Uh, they look at those cups with great appreciation. So be aware of things around you, even the smallest of things. Maybe your friend brings you a coffee. It doesn't matter. Or they ask you, can I get something for you from the convenience store? All those little things, or somebody lets you go ahead in line, all those little things bring in the bigger things that you really want. So you've got the King of Pentacles here, you and your own energy, completely confident. You know what to do here. There's nothing here that can elude you. It's all about attracting more. So the King of Pentacles is also an introspective energy. Some of you may be looking over your own, your own finances and seeing areas that you're quite excited about. Um, others of you may be looking at that job and saying, this is moving forward and I see it. I see opportunities to put myself on other platforms, on social media, whether it's, like I said earlier, Fiverr or something like that. Maybe that doesn't fall under social media, but you know what I mean. Other online opportunities, an Etsy store, something like that where you're bringing in coin. Um, it's a very, though, confident energy, but humble. 
Okay, it's it's being able to, when you speak, everybody listens, but it's not for the attention. It's more because they know that you know what you're talking about. But either way, it's a kind energy. I mean, it's an energy of, of wanting to give back to others. So some of you may help somebody else out. Maybe it's you that brings somebody a gift or a small gesture. Or maybe you decide to do that and see what happens. It can be a little experiment. You play with the universe. But either way, you're reaching a position that's a higher level and it stays, okay? This stays put where it goes. It's very stable energy. This is actually stable too with strength. It's overcoming anything. It's building your confidence, but it's also being crowned by that infinity symbol. It's infinite abundance. So with this kind of energy, you are in any any position, you'll have the solution because you're in alignment here. It doesn't mean when we're in alignment, we never have problems, but you find the solutions easier. And so with this, you know, the strength card I mentioned earlier can be repressed feelings. Somebody who's holding back a little bit, but there is love here. Um, you know, look at the way she looks at that lion and, and the way she's connected. It's like they're one and she's overcoming something great here. So if it feels like for reconciliation, folks, it's never going to happen. If you believe it, that, that'll be what happens. But if you know it, if you know it's coming, it's right here. They're still connected. There's obstacles here, but those are overcome. There's nothing that can stop you. So with the strength energy. So let's see what the angels have to say here. Whoa, that was a crack, wasn't it? Sheesh. All right, let's see about, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just going to take out the only the top one after that. I guess we didn't need those. <laughs> oh, that was great. Wow, that was like half the deck. <laughs> All right, you've got a, a golden opportunity here. Um, you know, whatever it is that's coming forward, it, it is beautiful here. It's stable energy, but I do like it that it's, it's a lot of it is about you and that you're going to put yourself out there in a way that really attracts good situations. So remain positive. If you're saying, I'm not feeling that, you can get there. You can change your vibration anytime. I mean, me throwing those cards just changed mine. It made me really laugh. Um, they say it's up to you. Okay, of course it is because you're, everything around you is a mirror. You get what you think about, but even more than that, your feeling is a secret. So you get what you are, whether you want it or not. They say you have perfect timing, all right? So that clearly has to be the case because the rest of the cards left the deck. Choose a new direction. So with this, it's, I feel like it has to do with that appreciation because you have that like three different times here, you know, and even in the strength card, um, it can represent that our suffering always leads to grace. So let it. So good things are coming for you, Taurus. I love you and I'll be back again soon.